I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Nate Chegetz. He is co-founder and CEO at Roan. Nate, great to have you on the show. Welcome it's back. It's great to be back. Yes, thank you. Now, before we get started, quick note to our viewers. This interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSE doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. All right, so Nate, you're back at the NYSE. Tell me what you're doing here. It is so great to be on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Honestly, I love this place. As we were coming in, I was telling our team, like, look up at the ceilings. It's just such a beautiful place. But we are here um, handing out our best-selling product, the commuter shirt, which uh, has, um, as you know, we launched on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange back in 2019. Yes, I remember that when you were here and you were handing out commuter shirts to all of our traders and you have a nice display here of your, your commuter yeah. shirts, which it looks like you've expanded the commuter shirt line. We've expanded. <laughs> we've been doing a lot more colors. We've added a second size. So when we launched, we only launched with a slim fit. Now we have a classic fit and a slim fit. And it's part of this big push that we have right now of outfitting the office. People are getting back to the offices and we now not only have the commuter pan, but we have the commuter shirt and a commuter quarter zip so we can really kind of outfit the full office look. Oh yes, so now you have the commuter line, which yep. you mentioned there. Um, tell me about the line, is it successful? It's been incredibly successful. I mean, as you know, we launched this in 2019, which was arguably the worst time to, <laughs> to launch kind of workwear, but as 2020 came in and people were only buying activewear and sweatpants, you know, in 21 it started to come back. In 2022, it took us two months to sell as many commuter shirts as we did in all of 2021. And it has been a rocket ship since then. I mean, we can't, we haven't been able to keep the shirt in stock this year. Wow, so now when you originally started the company, you were really focused on activewear. Yeah, our root is in performance and so, you know, for world-class athletes, running, training, um, we use the best fabrics and materials in the world. But, you know, from my experience having worked in an office environment, I worked at the NFL, mm -hmm. and we were suit and tie every single day. I'd come home, go to hug my kids, and I'd be afraid I'm gonna tear through my suit. Uh, you know, they'd wanna wrestle. So we started saying, what if we were to take these fabrics and put them into more traditional silhouettes, like a work pant or a dress shirt? And, you know, when we started wearing it, we would wear test it. We'd take it on runs. We'd lift with it. And, you know, we'd, we'd, we'd do the wrestling with the kids at home and play on the ground. And we're like, this is the best dress shirt we've ever had. So um, we decided to see if our customer would trust us with that. And um, I'm just so grateful that, you know, the customer has given us that opportunity and how, how much they love it. The, the feedback we get on it is great. So now you started online, but now you are brick and mortar. Yes. Talk to me about your stores. So we've, um, we've opened nine stores. We're opening another three in the next uh, month and a half. Okay. And, um, and retail's been a huge, uh, a huge growth lever for us. Um, all of our stores are profitable. They're, um, they're, it's a great chance to interact with the consumer and get real-time feedback. When you launch a new product, you get to hear what colors they like, what they're into, and so, um, I love I love having the retail stores. It's been a great part of our growth strategy. So now speaking of consumers, what have you seen with their buying habits post pandemic? It's definitely shifted. You know, I think everybody bought more sweatpants and workout clothing than they could ever possibly need. And um, right now, what they're leaning into is really comfortable, nice workwear. And we we call it work leisure. We were kind of the first to use that term, and it's perfect because. You can, you know, you can live in this shirt, but you go to work, you feel like you're cheating. It's so comfortable. And, um, you know, I, I was running the London Marathon this fall, and my team was like, I dare you to run, the, run it in the dress shirt. So I just ran the London Marathon in it just to show you can do literally anything in this shirt. Okay, well, that's, that's like a true test of the shirt there, yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, it was great. So now talk to me about your expansion strategy. What do you yeah. have planned? I mean, really, it's about doing more of what has already made us successful. So, you know, we're going to continue to open retail stores. We're leaning into making the absolute best product for the customer. We call it outfitting his closet. We think that Roan can be the brand that, you know, the only brand that a guy really needs in his closet. We make underwear, we make outerwear, we make workwear, we make activewear. And everything that we make, we use the highest quality standards. Um, and we really want the fit to be dialed in. So. You know, we think that if a guy comes in, they try anything, they'll, they'll get a chance to outfit their entire closet over time. And so that's what we're really focused on is making the absolute best product and then making it easy to get. You know, our online experience, we're investing in that and then trying to open more stores in places so guys can come in if they want to try it on or touch the fabrics for themselves because 
any brand online can say, we use the best fabric, but until you actually touch the clothes and wear them, you won't really know. And so we really believe in our products, so we want guys to try them. All right, well, I know you're not making any shirts for women. Is that part of the expansion at all? You know, I mean, right now we're there. really focused on men's, <laughs> and um, and that's you know that's what that's that's been our bread and butter and our focus. Um, not to say we won't ever, but uh, you know if we do, you'll be the first to know about it. Great. All right. So you'll have to come back and you know hand that's out right. shirts for the women. Here. Exactly. We need we need it to be equal. For sure. <laughs> of course. Now you're wearing a commuter shirt. I am. Yeah. Looks I'm fabulous. wearing it today. Thank you. Great. Very nice of you. All right. Well, Nate, always wonderful to see you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Thanks for having me.